Hey everybody, back in the shop and I wanted to post up a quick video um, about an issue that a lot of people have with your edges curling up. So how do we prevent our edges from curling up and what's typically the cause of this? Um, for those of you who don't know, this is what we print. Um, we print these statu the statuary out of PLA. Um, we have a video out on printing with layer lines that are so small you can paint right over you don't have any prep no sanding any of that so you know if you want go check out those videos but um we have another bed video on bed adhesion that is going to come up in just a second um, in conversation with this subject so you're going to want to check out that video because it's going to answer a problem that uh, or a question that's going to arise and we'll get to that in just a second but what happened here and how do we prevent this this is the bottom of a model it's actually this model, when this model was prototyped seven years ago, eight years ago. This has been sitting on my desk as a coaster. Um, I kept looking at it over the last couple of weeks and thought, you know what, I need to post a video on that because it's an issue that I'm sure a lot of people are still having. Um, so what do we do to, to solve that? This is a base. This base, of course, is what those trophies go on. In the bottom of the trophy, there's a hole. Well, there's a hole in the base. There's a screw that goes in that hole up through the base into the bottom of the model and holds it. So we wanted to make the bottom of this model as strong as possible. So what do we do? We went from three layers typically to 10 layers. Um, we print the rest of our models with three layers. We moved up to 10 layers because we wanted that strength. That turned into an issue. Um, jumping ahead real quick, we solved that issue by moving back down to three layers and just making the wall of the hole a little thicker. So to give the screw something to, to latch onto. But anyway, what happened was we, we made the bottom of that model 10 layers, 10 solid layers before the infill started. And what happened was the more layers that we laid down that were solid, the more heat it soaked up from the heat bed and could not be released because it was not a grid pattern, which acts like a heat sink. Um, this grid pattern started on the 11th layer. Um, but what happened was those 10 layers soaked up so much heat that heat had to go somewhere, um, but it was so much heat that couldn't be dissipated the moment it, that it was laid down, the moment that the line was laid down or the, or the PLA was laid down, that it just retained a whole lot of heat. And, and uh, that's when the, the problem began. So we went back down to three layers. So the first solution we came across is that if you have a lot of layers that are on the bottom and they're solid, if you could possibly go back down to three layers, you know, two layers, whatever the case may be, um, and maybe increase your infill density, that will give you the same effect. Um, or maybe if you're dealing with a screw hole, just make the screw hole walls thicker. But basically, if you're gonna print with a high um, bottom level count, we would suggest turning your fan speed up to 100%. Typically, we print at zero fan speed on the first layer or two. Um, but uh, you know, if, if you're printing with 10 solid layers or some, some number in, the, in that range, get rid of that heat every layer as quickly as possible so it's not retained and then uh, you know you have that issue so that was one of the issues um i'm going to go through just a couple of things there's only like four things that i wanted to suggest that was one of them too many layers the next was your print temperature um we print at anywhere from 185 to 190 up to 210. um depends on the model and you know what the what the basic construction or design of that model is, what the inside of it looks like, how much infill. There's just a lot of variables that uh, that change. So um, typically we print at 210. Um, if you're having problems with a lot of heat, um, basically this is caused from heat being retained and then dissipated. So if you if you move down to from 210 down to 190 or 200 you're injecting less heat into that model. Therefore, less heat has to leave. Therefore, the propensity of getting curl-ups is a lot less as well. So maybe try reducing your heat temperature. A lot of, we, we print only in PLA. I'm sure there's you know people that print in so many different kinds of stuff. But anyway, as far as PLA goes, um, there are PLAs out there that start at you know, 180 print temp up to 215. So you can play in that range. Um, you know, if you set it at 185, it's gonna melt coming out of the nozzle, you know? So it just depends on, uh, on what you're printing. So maybe print at a lower temp. The next one is um, your, uh, your bed temperature, your print bed temperature. Um, 
typically we print at 60, we start printing at 60 degrees. Uh, of course, it's all in Celsius, but we start printing at 60 degrees. After the first or second layer, we move down to 50 degrees and sometimes even 40 degrees. Um, we do have models that we start at 40 degrees right off the bat. Um, we turn the fan speed down to zero, and that means that if we're printing at 210, but the print bed is 40 degrees, as that print is being laid down, that lower bed tent is sucking that heat out of that model because the discrepancy between 40 degrees Celsius and 210 degrees Celsius is quite a bit. And that heat is gonna leave that model really quick, get into the print bed and be dissipated um, and not stick in your model and build up and then leave and then you get a curl up. Um, you want the, basically what I'm saying is you want that heat in your model for as little time as possible. So try not to put that much heat into your model, whether it be printing into it out of the nozzle or it's sitting on the, on the print bed. Um, now, a question will arise as to how we get our models to stick on the print bed. We have a video out that addresses bed adhesion and what we do, and I, I'll touch on that real quick, but this is our savior. It's 3M Super 77 spray glue. Um, we have a video on how to use this, um, how you get your models to stick, how you get your models off the print bed, um, how you clean your print bed. You know, again, we use brake cleaner to clean the print bed. I've gotten a lot of feedback, a lot of negative feedback on that, you know, brake cleaner, oh, it's toxic, you know, whatever. There's tens of thousands of mechanics all around the country that use brake cleaner every day. Um, it's VOC compliant, you know, read the label, follow the directions, um, you know, we use it all the time, so, you know, whatever. Um, that's just what we do. So do whatever you want, but that has solved our bed adhe our, um, our curl up problem as well, because if we set the bed temperature at 40 degrees or 50 degrees, it does, people believe that the 60 degree bed temperature allows the PLA to soak into the bed because it's hotter. That's been the reasoning of some of the emails that I've got. Well, the PLA is already 210 coming out of the nozzle. So it's, you know, it's not that the print bed at 60 degrees is even hotter than the 210. It's already hot coming out. So it's already, as it comes out of the nozzle, going to lay in the texture of the print bed that you're using if you're using like a textured steel sheet. It's already going to lay in there. You don't need to turn the print bed temperature up so high to where you're trying to melt that PLA into the bed. That's not the way it works. So um, we turn the print bed temperature down to 40, 50 degrees. Um, once the first layer starts, we'll start at 60 sometimes, but there are models, again, that we start at 40 to 50 degrees. With the Super 77, that's what adheres your model to the bed, not the print bed temperature. Basically, what I'm saying is if we turn the print bed temperature off completely, our models would still stick to the bed by using the Super 77, and then we don't have any heat issues to worry about. So those are the problems that, that we ran into and the solutions that we came up with. Um, again, it's too many layers, too many solid layers. Um, if you are printed, number two is too many, first is too many print layers on the bottom, they're solid. So move that back down. The second is if you are printing with a higher layer count on the bottom, not the infill, but the actual solid layers, turn your fan speed up really high so you can get the heat out of those layers. That's number two. Um, number three is print at a lower temperature. Anywhere in that 180 to 15 range, you're gonna be fine. Um, if it affects your print quality at 180, then move up a little bit, you know, and just keep trying until you reach the lowest possible temperature that you can print at and have your model still come out good. And the fourth one is um, uh, your print bed. Turn your print bed down as low as you can possibly get it. Maybe even turn it off. Give that a shot. Maybe it works well for you, but use the Super 77. Um, and again, the way you use this really quickly is to spray three layers overlapping, um, on the footprint, you know, that'll cover the footprint of your model. So I would say spray three layers really quick and then three layers in a crosshatch pattern the other way. And maybe just a little more if you need a little more. But uh, once you do that, give it about two or three minutes and let that glue get a little tacky. And then, um, you know, and then start your print. Um, hit, hit your temperature, get your temperature up to temp so you're ready to print when you're ready to print when you hit the button. But spray your 77 down and then, um, uh, hit print after about two minutes, have it start printing on that, on that uh, sticky glue, 
and you won't have any problems. We don't have any problems, so hopefully you won't either. But that's how we solve the curl up problem. Hopefully that helps you guys. The number one issue, is if you're gonna do just three layers, the number one way that we solved the issue was by turning the heat bed down and using the 77 for adhesion rather than the print bed temperature. So that's what we came up with. So hopefully that helps you guys out. That's what we do. Um, I'll be posting up more videos as people present more problems. I get all kinds of emails from people asking me, you know, I'm having this problem, having that problem. How do I do this? How do I do that? So thank goodness that you guys are finding some value in the videos that I put up. I'm not a YouTuber. I don't do this for a living. Um, this is just, you know, it's New Year's Eve right now. And I just had a couple of minutes to throw something up while I'm in the shop. So I just want to do that for you guys. Um, hopefully it helps. Thanks for watching.